What's up YouTube? It's Amy with the Timmy Family Farm and I am here inside the greenhouse. Woohoo! I'm inside because it's pretty windy outside right now and um, <laughs> it's pretty windy outside right now and so I figured it's just easier to talk to you in here plus I get to bring you inside the greenhouse. But Today we have to put on the wind straps. It's very windy out and uh, hence we really need to get our wind straps on. So we're gonna do that and then if we have time, we'll install the roll-up sides. So what we're gonna do first is, you'll see us throwing over a bottle um, so that we can pull over the, the wind straps through each of the, in between each of the hoops. space on the pipe um, so that's what we're doing now and then we're gonna start installing it you weren't pulling the trigger all the way the first two times There you have it guys, we are done. Yeah. Let me give you a close up. <laughs> And we decided to go ahead and plant our raised bed inside the greenhouse. We've got our brassicas in here. Here's all of our broccoli growing very nicely. These little small plants here are our celery. It's our first year growing celery, so I'm hoping that they turn out good. We've got pink celery, the Chinese pink celery, and some Utah celery. I think the Utah celery I got from M.I. Gardener. Here we've got some Brussels sprouts and some cabbage. And over here, we've got our cabbage and cauliflower. Now we ordered a cloth, a light fabric to put over these raised beds inside and then outside as well. And we're just using some of the metal posts that were left over from our greenhouse build and 10 foot lengths of PVC to make the hoops here. And that seems to be going pretty well. But this will allow us to 
just drape the fabric over top of the greenhouse. I mean, over top of the raised bed. What's that, Dad? The cover for this. Wait, you want it too hot? Yeah, it just help keep the bugs off. What about butterflies? And these, we'll pollinate them. No, no, we don't need the bees and butterflies yet. Not for these guys. The part that you eat is not a fruit. So like tomatoes and peppers, you need the pollinator because they help to make the fruit. But when you're growing like broccoli and cabbage, you're eating the actual plant, not the fruit or the flower. So you don't need the pollinators for these guys. But it's good that you know that, Annabelle. We've been learning all about plants this week, haven't we? Okay, still, still good that you know that, Annabelle. Got a poor time. Mama! 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 There's only like summertime in here. Yeah! We're gonna lay out and get a suntan. Here we've got all of our tomatoes, all different varieties. I've talked about those in other videos, so I'm not going to go into the details of what they are here. But you can see on a lot of these, we've got, like there's one. A lot of these leaves have got some sunburn on it. At least that's what I'm calling it, a sunburn. Look at how dark this one is. This is a blue cream, and they are really like purple, dark blue purple, high anthocyan cherry tomato. But look at that, how dark their leaves are and the stems and the veins, that's so cool. Here I've got some squashes, lots of squashes, some marigolds, some more squashes, some more peppers, some melons. Here's our Paul Robeson tomatoes. They're a little bit smaller because if you remember a few videos back, I talked about how I had forgotten to plant our Paul Robesons, and so I started those a little later than the others. And here we've got some flowers, some echinacea, some blue sage salvia, some hyssop. And here we've got some more melons growing. Lots of basil, some squash, so much basil. Here we've got a little project from the girls' school to grow some sunflower seeds. Here I've got some more flowers, some nasturtiums, some coxcomb, some more hyssop. So that's all I got for today. I appreciate you guys and I thank you so much for stopping by the farm. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be <laughs> notified when our next video goes up. Thank you so much for stopping by the Timmy Family Farm. Uh, See you later.